Hello, welcome in everyone. Let's get this up here. Boom. Welcome in everyone. Welcome to Astrology Saturday with your host with the most, Chad the Maverick, here to deliver the weekly astrology, what's going on in the sky, what's going on in our world right now, and to break down all this information to you in a way where you can understand and see how your week ahead is going to go and what you can do, what things you can utilize in order to know the energies that are happening. So if you find any of this information useful, be sure to send it over to a friend. Share it right now if you can with them. Share it after this broadcast is over, whichever the case may be. But be sure that the information gets out there for those that you think will resonate with this so they can know what's going on with the week. Hello, I see a couple hearts in here. Hello, how is it going? So we have an interesting week ahead and the reason why this week is interesting is because we are in eclipse season so the eclipse just went off last week the lunar eclipse right and the lunar eclipse is making its way and making all these changes and differences within the next about two weeks span of time the next two weeks span of time is when this lunar eclipse energy is really prominent therefore even in this broadcast i'm going to be following the moon a little bit closer than usual because the moon after this lunar eclipse is what's really helping shape um how this eclipse season is looking for us so um once more thank you all so much for showing up i appreciate all the ways there's a bunch of ways there's a bunch of hearts hello everyone <laughs> so um before i get into the astrology of the week i do want to make a couple announcements one of the announcements that i do want to make though is that Today, on House of Intuition's page, right? And you have to catch it before the end of today because by midnight um, at 12 PST, essentially, this is over. So right now, we're having a sale of 30% off of just about everything in the store. Be sure to look at the specifics because there's no classes for that and etc. But be sure to look at that if you want to get any items, especially going into this holiday season. So you can make sure you get that. So the code is going to be 30 30% off. And it's going to be Enchanted 30. But be sure to look at the um, website. Be sure to check out your email as well because it's going to be more about that in the process. Another side thing. If you're looking to find a gift for someone for the holidays coming up, I just put out a blog with House of Intuition, which is called The Perfect Gift for Every Zodiac Sign. So I spent a lot of time curating and finding um, what I believe would be specifically working for each zodiac sign in reference to it and how you can end up giving them those type of gifts and bringing the things about the life so be sure to check that out on the house of intuition blog as well and all that just got gifts from them yesterday well i mean you still have more time there's 30 percent off right now you can always also come into the store so be sure to check those out um next thing that i want to mention right we have the astrology lovers box that just came out so for those who are the astro lovers i am here as the in-house astrology of house intuition i'll be talking about it more later on but the astrology box is also out i'm very excited to be showcasing that to you all because it's something that we worked really hard to do in order to like really help people who love astrology as well so now we're going to hop a little bit into what's going on in the world right now as we speak so i mentioned a little bit earlier i don't know if there's people that just came in but the lunar eclipse is just shifting and shaping the next two weeks of our lives as far as how we relate to our emotions about how we tap into our intuitions about how we tap into our intuitive natures and all of that so the whole idea behind this is that mercury in sag as well that just shifted over this is what this is going to be about mercury and sagittarius because this is about entering profound truth and communicating profound truth but you can only tap into your profound truth when you're able to actually know how you feel know how you are bringing in the information that's why this is going to all be so important about this week upcoming ahead so once more in between eclipses right now so the lunar eclipse just happened for those who went to my lunar eclipse class you are in the know you know what is going to be going on for the next two weeks of time already so i'm glad that y'all went through to that because you you are perfectly prepared for all of this energy for those who don't know about the eclipses i am having an um another eclipse class coming up on the 14th of next week which is going to be on the solar eclipse in sagittarius and this is going to be a big shifting about how everyone relates to their spirit how everyone relates to their persona and how everyone relates to who they are and how they identify so that's going to be mega important and the reason why eclipses are this heavy is because eclipses shift 
destiny, not just for individual people, but for the whole entire collective. So when these destiny shifts happen, it's because the sun and moon are lining up with the nodes. And the nodes in astrology are the points of destiny. I'll always say that. I will nail it on the head every single time. So the sun being in Sagittarius and then the um, moon being in Gemini at the time is what has been shifting all of this emotional energy, which has been shifting the way that we end up deeming and seeing fate. Um, how do you sign up for the classes? That's a perfect question. So if you want to sign up for the classes, the classes are all on the House of Intuition website. They're literally like you look at the first top page and you'll see right underneath, they'll have all the classes that you can sign up for. My classes and Patty's classes are all signed up personally for the rest of this year. And we have so much going into 2021. Please be sure to stay tuned because we're going to be, oh, cannot wait. It's, I can't talk too much about it, but be sure that you end up checking those out because we're going to be blowing your minds away, right? So if you're interested in the sign up, right, be sure to check those out. I do have um two other classes coming up this week. It's going to be one on the 7th, which is going to be the key to your personal magic. I'm going to be going through how your rising sign and astrology is actually essentially can be used as a key to tapping into your personal magic. And I'm going to be breaking down how to do that and how to utilize that in the process. On the other time, um, the other one I'm doing is going to be Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto, which is going to be about the generations in astrology. So what generation did what? What generations is influenced by what energy and the reason why we're all like that. So if you're from generation Z, generation X, Y, millennial, anything along the lines of that, these planets are going to be defining what that energy is and how that has affected you. So be sure to pull up to that class as well. All the classes are only $10 too. They're $10 are an hour long and if you like what you see with this live stream or you've seen any of my other work with House, you know I just <laughs> I flow with this. So I hope that you all are able to show up to that as well. Now, get into the astrology of the week for real. We're going right through it. We're going to start from today and we're going to end off on the 12th of next week when I come on live again at the same time to break it down. Hello to the new people coming in. Much love to you all. Now let's get started. So Mercury... Um, has basically been in trine to Chiron since yesterday. So yesterday into today, Mercury was making a trine to Chiron. And what this was essentially meaning is that there was a new transmutation and a new transformation in how we were approaching our authentic truth, our authentic um, power when it comes to the truth that we have, right? So the whole idea behind this is that with this Chiron aspect is that there were a lot of things that may have had pain in the past that were being transmuted through how we're communicating with people, how we were talking to, how we were thinking, how our minds were basically being set. Now, the lunar eclipse in this eclipse season is a heavy energy throughout. Like it's not, it doesn't let up too much. You can only adjust to it and trust in the universe's flow. So this is a very important time to trust in the flow of the universe because the universe is literally guiding you to where you need to be, but you can't be too much in your own self. You can't be too much in your own mind's ego. You really have to roll with the punches and roll with whatever you feel like is going on. So this is a very important and critical part to this Mercury making its trine with the uh, Chiron on this day, right? The other thing that's happening today, right? is that we have Venus and Scorpio making its trine over to Neptune and Pisces. So the whole idea with this Venus and Scorpio, Neptune and Pisces is that essentially it's tapping into a feeling of what is a higher sense of love, right? Venus and Scorpio really gets down to the nitty gritty as far as feelings are concerned, as far as what is the truth and the, the realness, the raw of whatever is going on. That's what Venus and Scorpio represents. Neptune represents dreams. Neptune represents dreams, illusions, the letting go, unconditional love in a sense, right? So what this whole idea is that we're tapping into and tugging essentially on our heartstrings as we're getting into a deeper sense of what it is that we deem to be unconditional love, what it is to mean to like really like love things on a soul level. That's really what's coming through with this energy as far as today. So what it's about is um, changing the communication about how you feel with certain things as well as also implementing and adding 
what do you need to do to tap into the higher dream, to tap into your higher heart in a sense? That's what today is really going to be um, letting out. And that's just for the whole entire collective. Whether people are privy to it or not, this is something that you end up seeing happen in people because this is how that's going on. Um, someone earlier asked if I do readings. I do do readings as well. Um, be sure to check out after this live stream is done. I'll be putting down my at there as well. And it's Chad and Maverick. So what I'm going back in, right? So what we have to talk about is going to be the next day after this. So for the next day from the 6th, 7th, and 8th, the biggest thing that's going on, because the astrology isn't as profound as far as it's like big new shifts to everything, but as far as the astrology is concerned, what's going on is the moon being in this Virgo space is now amplifying what it is that we want to actually concretely change when it comes to all the emotions and the, all the feelings that have come after this lunar eclipse time frame. So slipping into that energy and moving on into the next space, how are we going to be able to really like pinpoint what it is that we want to do, what it is we want to work on, what it is that we want to implement in order for all these things to happen. So the moon of Virgo is going to basically have you start Tapping into what it is that you need. Tapping into what it is that you need to like pick up the pieces with what parts of yourself need to get adjusted in order for you to tap into a stronger sense, right? Now, going on into the seventh, we have Moon in Virgo making this opposition to Neptune. So with the Moon making this opposition to Neptune, what we're doing is that essentially there's going to be a bridging in between what do you feel to be your reality and what the universe deems to be your reality? And the reason why this is, is because once more, this is really tapping. And I'm going to keep talking about this because this is so critical within the astrology because it's about really harnessing what it is your higher self says or your um intuition says or that little voice in your head that tells you to do that thing that feels right on the inside to you, not just deemed off of what other people are trying to portray to you, but what is your spirit telling you? What's the inside portion of you trying to tell you and push forward when it comes to these things, right? That's really what's going on in regards to like this moon and um, Virgo state. Mind you, still in this lunar eclipse energy. So I'm looking at the moon because the moon's going to be important because this is what is um, flourishing until this new moon in Sagittarius. This is coming up. So please be sure to check out the class on that. It is a total solar eclipse it is shaping destiny um like in Sagittarius so like please be sure to check that out because like I said these are really like times where everything destiny is shifting um all for the better as well but you need to be sure to like really um allow yourself to let the universe flow through you let your guides flow through you etc in order for all that to work out perfectly so that's kind of what it is this is all about accepting the synchronicity accepting the um it's acceptance you have to just accept the uh energy that's going around about around you so you can be about it as it comes up that's pretty much what is the most critical part to all of this um going on to the 8th right so on the 8th we have the moon in Virgo making its uh, trine over to all of these different planets that have been in Capricorn. Now, mind you, uh, if you've seen any of my last streams beforehand or before this, I was always talking about um, Pluto, Jupiter, and Saturn all being in Capricorn. So with all this being in Capricorn, you have to remember two of those big planets. And mind you, when all that happened is when basically our world, as we knew it, fell apart. <laughs> when all those three signs came through and wrecked house, like literally everything that we knew just kind of like, Pew. so because these two signs are now leaving this sign, we're about to enter brand new energy. But as of right now, Saturn, which was the main, um, the main premise of this whole entire shift has happened, is now at 29 degrees, or it's going to be at 29 degrees by the time this is happening. And because Saturn is going to be at this 29 degree mark, it is literally the last um, rendition and last energy of what is it that you want to do that fulfills yourself on a soul level because Saturn is going to be helping you bring that in, but you have to allow that to happen as it shifts. So this is kind of like the last breakthrough time frame, the breakthrough point where whatever epiphany comes to you, 
whatever feeling comes to you that's all regarding this, that's when you have to tap into it and start going towards it. Because this moon of Virgo is going to kind of help you go through, differentiate, and pick out what parts are specifically going to work for you and what parts do you not wish to keep using when it comes to you going towards your dreams or what it is that you want or what it is that you feel that you need to put out into the world or bring into the world, right? So that's all that's happening. Uh, how weird this week has been? We're in between eclipses. This is as weird as it gets. <laughs> like, we're in between eclipses is like a very weird time because it's very much shifting the course of our, the core of our souls. Like whether we like know of what's going on or if we just feel the vibe, like that's all happening and that is all um, flooding in when it comes to this. So like I said, Moving on to the uh the next part, you need to join my class. Feel free to pull up. I have a class every Monday and Wednesday, six p.m. PST. They're literally ten bucks a piece. If you think this is me going off, it's not. Be sure to come to the class. I'm really break it down. Um, even like a lot of complicated astrology topics. I appreciate the feedback on the classes, but I'm breaking down some pretty advanced things into a tangible enough thing so where you can look up whatever else is going on and really get into an inclination. So I appreciate those who have gone to the classes and have really given me that feedback because that's um a really great thing to know. And I love to um display and give the astrology to the people. So thank you so much for um pulling up for that. So all the classes that I have are through House of Intuition. So our House of Intuition page is literally right underneath, right? Um, you said that last week was rough trying to remain positive. Yeah, like that's what I mean. Like it's really like, and that's why I try to break down the astrology of every week in this way and format as well. So when you listen to it, you're like, oh, this did happen. Or, oh, like, this is kind of like how this is happening. And I'm only following the track of the stars when I break this down. Like, I'm following what's going on, what energies affect you, what energies end up coming through. Appreciate the love down there. I see y'all in the chat. Appreciate the love. Um, Like I said, I love doing the classes. I love really, like, bringing in all the, uh, the energy and stuff like that. So, yeah, how to be grounded with this overwhelming shift going on, you have to trust in the universe. It's not like, it's one of those things where it's like any other time, uh, any other time, I always will say, you can make it happen with this grounding, you can make it happen with this, but like during eclipses and pretty much for the month of December, um, this is really breaking down like all of like what we thought that we knew about things. Therefore, that's why we need to like really trust in the guiding hand that the universe has or your spirit guides have or your ancestors have or whatever it is that you subscribe to. That is what's going to be the moving force and the moving factor into changing the fate and changing the course of your life and your destiny and everything that you want to do. So it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. I see like a lot of people dropping down some synchronicities and stuff like that is happening. So that's beautiful to hear. I'm really happy about that. Um, But yeah, before I get into the um the next part, I do have to say, once more, if you are here and you wanted to order anything from House of Intuition, be sure to check out the sale that's happening just today. It ends literally tonight at 12, um, 12, 11.59. Um, the day before, or, you know what I'm saying. And tonight, basically go through. It's 30% off. It's going to be Enchanted 30, which is going to be the code. So be sure to check that out. They don't happen very often, so this is the time for them to really go for it. So now, once more. Moving on. So we're going to be going over to, we're going to be going over to um, the next part, which is going to be the 9th. So on December 9th, which is going to be um, this upcoming Wednesday, right? Uh, for people that were talking about the classes, I do have a class coming up on that day. And on that day, um, for the class, we're going to be talking about once more Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto, which is going to be all of the outer planets in astrology, but I'm going to be showing how these have shifted and affected every single generation that we have lived through. So the millennials, Gen Y, Gen Z, ever wanted to know why like the group of people you grew up are like that? This is kind of the class that explains why every generation is a little bit different. And it also showcases how these planets end up affecting you in your personal life through your chart. So that's going to be on my class coming up on Wednesday. But outside of the class on Wednesday, let's talk about the astrology of Wednesday and moving on into the end of the week. Appreciate you all for staying through. Much love to you all. Once more, if any of this information makes sense to you, resonates, you know, anyone that likes astrology, be sure to send this over to them. Um, Send it over to them either right now or 
right after this video is over when I put it up on the Instagram so they can end up checking. Boomers too, 100%. I got you, no worries. I got everybody when it comes to the generation class. I'm going back to like the 1900s. So be sure to check it out because I really want to like show you how that goes. Um, If you want to check out my work, it's Chad the Maverick. Uh, so that'll be my Instagram. All my stuff that you want to see from me is going to be on there. So be sure to check that out because I do a bunch of stuff. <laughs> be sure to check that out as well. So the sun today, or on the 9th, on the 9th, right? We have the sun making a square over to Neptune. So there has been a very powerful shift as far as how we are going to be bringing in accepting and bridging together our dreams our dream state etc so this day is going to especially be showing you a lot of synchronicities it's going to be showing you a lot of synchronicities as far as like if you're someone that sees like one one two 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 a lot this is one of those times where it's like they're going to be everywhere the signs will be everywhere now the thing about these signs on this day is that what signs are you trying to force yourself to see versus what signs are coming to you and this is going to be like the the major challenge of that um day we're on um, today i'm talking about december 9th which is going to be coming up this upcoming wednesday right so um that's what's going to be going on as far as where the knife is concerned because this like i said the sun being a sagittarius was all about the vision and then neptune being all about the dream state this is this square or this um basically i would say even power struggle is like really like tapping into this uh vision trapping into this experience and the whole idea behind this too is that they're both jupiter ruled signs and jupiter is about to shift into a new sign so it's a lot of energy that's going to be very prominent when it comes to this ninth about really starting to see what what it is that you need to see in order to tap deeper into your goals tap deeper into what it is that you want to bring across and bring in to light so that's going to be a major thing going on on this upcoming night on the ninth right so the my favorite day of the week which is coming up so far which is going to be on the 10th this upcoming thursday first of all it's my birthday so shout out to all the sagittarius is in here uh that's going to be on the upcoming 10th right and so on december 10th what we have is the sun and mars making it try so the sun and Mars making this trine is going to essentially be with everything I was just talking about. All the things that people have been working on, all the energy that's flowing through, all the destiny that's shifting with all of these type of things, right? How are we going to move forward with the visions that we see, move forward with the intuitions that we see? Much love to you all in the chat. But how are we going to be moving with that and bringing that forward, right? This is what this day it's going to be bringing. So on December 10th, it's going to be about pushing forward the vision, pushing forward the energy, pushing forward all that. Much love for the breath and love. Thank y'all so much. So going into the next part of this day, right? Not only do we have the sun and Mars doing this thing, we also have Venus making a sextile over with Pluto. So Venus and Pluto are going to be shifting the heart and how almost like is making you get into a deeper octave of what it is that you feel so the whole idea behind this day is like how are we getting into a new octave as to how we feel how are we getting into a new octave as far as what we want to present through our heart space how are we going to get to a new octave of what it is to be a, like a soul in a human experience like it's getting that deep and the reason why it is once more eclipse season we're still in between two eclipses two major eclipses that are shifting destiny <laughs> so with all of this being said this is why like everything is so important um honestly ongoing into the end of this year like 2020 does not stop i did do a video on the astrology of 2020 so if you check out on um, the instagram it has literally the astrology of that literally all out there um obviously every week is going to be in more detail as i do this week but that's just kind of like a quick overview as far as like what shifts are happening and what's coming up as far as even my classes and such like that are all going to be um there so be sure to check that out if you have the time so that's going to be upcoming on the 10th right is like what are we doing to push forward the visions that we see and how are we going to tap into a deeper octave of our hearts and how we deem um unconditional love or the higher sense of love that really involves 
uh, spirit in the process, right? That's what's really happening and that's what's really pulling through during that time in that format, right? So the last thing that we have on the upcoming uh, 11th, right? This is going to be on Friday. And next week, I come on at the same time every week to explain the astrology of the week. So be sure to tune in. And if you do like me on these live streams, I will be doing and implementing more live streams. So I'll be up there doing my thing. Uh, what up, Cello Fat? Hey, happy birthday to you, my fellow Sagittarius. As a matter of fact, happy birthday to all the Sagittarians. And um, if you haven't gotten a happy birthday Sagittarius box from House yet, be sure to check that out because this is honestly like one of the best gifts you could just give a Sag. Just like, hey, here's this box of all the things that you like. Have fun. Like, <laughs> so um, as a Sag, we love stuff like that. So be sure to check that out in um, the general process, right? Uh, So happy birthday, like I said, to all the Sagittarians out there. Much love to you all. So... Oh, uh, the last day, I'm sorry. On December 11th, we have Mars and Aries making its sextile with the North Node. So remember that whole destiny thing I was just talking about, like this whole live stream. Cool. So this whole like energy as far as like that is concerned. This day, Mars and Aries, and this is right before, mind you, the uh, eclipse, the next eclipse is going to be happening, Right. So this is like the real transitionary period before these eclipses. I'm in between these eclipses. So pushing forward <clears throat> the energy of Mars and Aries with the North Node, what's going on with this is that the way that we feel, the way that we identify, the way that we push things forward are going to be matching up once again with this destiny aspect. And with this destiny aspect, what this is doing is that it's going to be teaching you how to um, basically walk your talk. Like if you're going to talk about it, you're going to be about it. That's kind of like the best way to kind of put it. Right. And this is so important because even for the people that may not be super confident to just go about it and be about it, what you can use this energy and what you can use this time frame, And even from now until then, what you can use this time frame to do is say what it is that you truly want to do and whether you believe you can do it or make it happen or not, say it like it can or like it will, or like it is. And that's a way that you can do that because if you say that it is happening, the universe will eventually and very soon, probably quicker than you think, match it up to the same energy. It's going to all be like straight together. Um, This has been in line with the tail readings you've been doing lately. Perfect. This is what I'm saying. Like, this is how the universe is moving. So if you've heard something similar to this uh, broadcast, as far as like any of this energy is concerned, that is because this is what's happening. This is really what is um shift, like making a difference. If, like I said, if you, if there is no other time to believe in the astrology of anything, look at 2020. Like, look at 2020. Ask your astrology friends to talk about 2020. Ask anyone that you know about that to talk about it, and they'll be able to point out specifically, oh, this is when that happened, that's when that happened, that's when that happened. Like, it's on, it's happening, it's making differences, and there's a lot of change that's going to be involved with this because the change that are going to be involved with this is to what is truly aligned with you. And that's what this week is about. If you want to just take a second to kind of wrap the week around, just like just so for everyone who's still here, right? To wrap the week up, put it all together into like one nice, beautiful gift, right? What's going on is that Mercury and Sag, and after this lunar eclipse that just happened, is pushing forward how it is that you speak your truth. But in order to speak your truth, in its fullness and your totality, you have to also feel what it is that you feel and be able to make that feeling resonate enough so when you speak the things that you speak, people can understand that certain things are just simply your truth. And that's not like anything that they can take from you. That's nothing that they can change from you because that is who you are. So this is all about being and tapping into a part of who you are. And this is what's going on for this week and this upcoming week. Once more, like I mentioned, we have the solar eclipse. So be sure to check out the class on the 14th, December 14th, which is the uh, it says new moon is uh, harnessing the energy Sagittarius new moon, because that is the solar eclipse. And I know I'm going to go off on that class because I was born on that new moon. So with that being said, it's literally going to be all the information that you need to know to look out and look forward to for this upcoming six month stage until the next eclipses that happen because these are the most important times that end up um pulling through in all of those regards right so 
um, that's going to essentially be the last wrap up of what's going on for this week. Much love to you all who have shown up. Show love down in the chat. Appreciate the comments. Appreciate the hearts. Appreciate the birthday love. But like I said, what's most important about this week going into it is how are you going to be tapping into your profound truth, who you are, and how you're going to communicate that to other people that end up resonating with you. So without further ado, much love to you all. Have a great one. Much love. Peace.